And he goes, so I'm standing in this dark room where they're developing the film. And the guy says, hey, man, you want to see something really cool? Come over here. And he starts showing me buildings on the dark side of the moon. And he said to me, these aren't ours. Because people hadn't seen the far side of the moon, we just made the assumption that the far side was the same as the near side. A colossal, mysterious mass has been uncovered on the far side of the moon, an organized structure hidden beneath the surface. The James Webb Space Telescope's recent discovery has shocked scientists, revealing something that may not belong in the natural lunar landscape. Could this be the core of an ancient asteroid or something stranger still? Uncovering a giant mass beneath the surface. The James Webb Space Telescope, which usually gazes at the farthest corners of the universe, recently turned its powerful focus a bit closer to home, the moon. The far side of the moon isn't some pitch black zone that never gets any sunlight. People often call it the dark side, but it's only dark in the sense that we can't see it from Earth. The moon is tidally locked, which means it always shows the same face to us. Because of this, for thousands of years, people could only guess about what might be hiding on the far side. But now, thanks to the powerful gaze of the JWST, we've uncovered something on the moon's far side that's nothing like we expected. In 2019, China sent a spacecraft called Chang'e 4 to the far side, marking the first time anyone had landed anything on that side. What we've learned from it so far is nothing short of amazing. This mass is located in the South Pole Aitken Basin, which is the largest known impact crater in our entire solar system. It stretches more than 2,000 kilometers across and was formed by a massive impact a very long time ago. Scientists have used data from a mission called GRAIL, Gravity Recovery and Interior Laboratory, to map the gravitational field. And that's how they detected this giant mass. It's so heavy that it's actually making the crater sink even more. But the big question is, what is it? There are a few different possibilities. One idea is that it's the iron core of a huge asteroid that crashed and got stuck in its mantle. Another theory is that it's a large collection of dense oxides that formed when the ancient magma ocean cooled down billions of years ago. Either way, it's wild to think that something so massive is hiding just beneath the surface. Of course, whenever there's a mystery, the internet loves to run with it. Some people have thrown out the idea that this hidden mass is actually an alien base or some kind of secret space station. Scientists aren't endorsing these theories, but they are still unsure of what exactly it could be. One thing we can say for certain, it isn't as boring as it might seem at first glance. Another fascinating aspect is how different its two sides are. The side that faces us has large, dark plains called Maria, which are old lava flows. But the far side? It's covered with way more craters and has almost no Maria. Plus, the far side's crust is a lot thicker. So why are the two sides so different? One possible explanation is that the South Pole Aitken impact had a huge effect on the internal structure, possibly causing volcanic activity on the near side. Scientists believe that when the asteroid hit, the heat generated by the collision spread through the interior, which led to the differences we see today. The near side ended up with higher concentrations of certain elements, which might explain why it was more prone to volcanic eruptions. This would account for the large dark patches we see from Earth. Essentially, the impact may have set off a chain reaction that shaped it into what we know today. So next time you look up at the sky, just remember that it's not as simple as it looks. It's not just a big rock floating out there in space. It has a story full of massive impacts, mysterious structures, and plenty of unanswered questions. Thanks to missions like Chang'e 4 and data from the GRAIL mission, we're slowly piecing together this story. Who knows what else we might discover hidden away on the far side? There's still so much to learn, and with more missions planned in the coming years, we might finally get some answers about this massive hidden structure. Until then, we're left to imagine all the possibilities. Whether it's the core of a long forgotten asteroid, a dense layer of oxides, or perhaps something even stranger. Whatever it is, one thing is for sure, it has plenty of surprises left in store for us, and it's a lot more complex than we ever imagined. One idea is that after it formed, it was bombarded by countless asteroids and comets. One of these impacts was the South Pole Aitken collision, which might have sent a shock wave through the interior, causing magma to move in strange ways. This could have made the near side's crust thinner and allowed volcanic eruptions to happen more easily, leading to the Maria we see today. 
Meanwhile, the far side, being shielded from the heat and stress of the impact, ended up with a thicker, more cratered crust. Another interesting theory is that its differences could be linked to tidal forces from Earth. Just as its gravity causes tides on Earth, Earth also affects it. When it was still young and mostly molten, Earth's gravity might have pulled the magma toward the near side, causing it to cool and form differently from the far side. This gravitational influence could have led to the higher concentration of heat-producing elements on the near side, which in turn caused the volcanic activity that formed the Maria. Could this hidden mass explain the moon's strange features? A dense mass in the crater that exposed it. Even more curious is the possibility that this mass could explain some of the gravitational anomalies we observe. The gravity isn't uniform, it has variations that scientists call mascons, short for mass concentrations. These mascons affect the orbits of spacecraft, and studying them helps scientists learn more about the interior structure. The mass beneath the South Pole Aitken Basin could be one of these mascons, contributing to the gravitational oddities observed in that region. There's a lot of excitement in the scientific community about what the future could bring. With more missions planned, like NASA's Artemis program, which aims to send astronaut aughts back, we might finally get a better understanding of these mysteries. One of the goals of future missions is to land near the South Pole Aitken Basin and take samples that could help determine what this massive hidden structure was made of. Understanding it is about more than just satisfying our curiosity. It is like a time capsule preserving clues about the early solar system that have long since been erased on Earth by tectonic activity and erosion. By studying it, we can learn more about the processes that shape not only our satellite, but also our planet and the rest of the solar system. As technology improves, so does our ability to explore space. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, Chang'e 4, and future missions will help us uncover the secrets that have been hidden away for billions of years. It's amazing to think that even our closest neighbor in space still has so much to teach us. Whether it's the mysteries of the far side, the enormous impact basins, or the strange mass lurking beneath the surface, it is full of surprises, and we're just getting started in our journey to understand it. Next time you catch a glimpse of it hanging in the night sky, think about everything that's happening up there. It's not just a bright spot in the sky, it's a dynamic, mysterious place with a history that's closely tied to our own. From massive asteroid impacts to volcanic eruptions and possibly even unknown structures, it has been through a lot. And as we continue to explore it, who knows what else we'll find. One thing's for sure, it is anything but ordinary, and its story is far from over. Imagine a giant structure that's big enough to make you wonder, wait, how did that get there? Well, that's exactly what the telescope has found. It's not something natural like a crater or a mountain. Instead, it looks more like some kind of organized formation, something that doesn't quite fit the usual lunar scenery. And of course, the scientific community is all abuzz, trying to figure out what it actually is. Could it be remnants of something ancient? A bizarre geological formation we've never seen before? Or, and here's where it gets spicy, is it something not of this world? But robots are just one piece of the puzzle. Artificial intelligence, AI, has been crucial for managing missions like this. Imagine trying to navigate the rocky, bumpy surface without GPS. That's what these machines do, and they're using AI to figure out the best routes and avoid all the craters and cliffs. There's this rover called Viper, designed specifically for exploring the lunar South Pole, a place that might have ice. Viper, Volatile's investigating polar exploration rover, is using its smart onboard systems to look for water, which could be a total game changer for any plans to put people there for longer periods. Another thing that's pretty wild is how we're planning to live there. No, not like moving there for good, but scientists are already figuring out how to make habitats that use materials directly from the surface. It's called in-situ resource utilization. Fancy words for taking lunar regolith and turning it into something useful, like bricks for building shelters. Basically, why bother carrying building materials from Earth when you can just use what's already there? Plus, if they manage to perfect 3D printing there, they could literally print houses out of lunar dust. It's a way to make staying there more feasible without the need for constant shipments from Earth. 
And if you're wondering how astronauts would stay in touch while they're up there, well, NASA's got that covered too. They're planning to set up something like a GPS system with satellites all around it to help with navigation. Nokia's even been working on putting up a 4G network. Just think about it. One day astronauts could be FaceTiming or live streaming their hikes, all thanks to these advancements. It's all about making the experience more connected and safe for those brave enough to go. It's not just NASA that's interested either. China has made some major moves when it comes to exploration. They even managed to land a spacecraft on the far side, something nobody else has done. These kinds of missions aren't just national pride, they're part of a global push to understand more about our closest neighbor. And this mysterious structure? Well, it's just added a whole new layer of intrigue to everything. What's clear is that this structure on the dark side is more than just a curiosity. It could tell us things we never knew about its history or even about the formation of the solar system itself. It is like a big time capsule, untouched for billions of years. Everything up there is practically frozen in time, just waiting for us to unravel its secrets. And as our technology keeps advancing, there's no telling what else we'll discover. The discovery of this structure is kind of like it giving us a wink saying, you think you know me, think again. It's a reminder that even with all our modern tools, space is still full of surprises. And every new find makes it more and more exciting to think about what comes next. Maybe it's the starting point of building bases, or maybe it's an ancient relic from something we haven't even imagined yet. As we keep pushing forward with AI, robots, and new ways of using local materials, it is gradually becoming a place where we could actually work and live. It's a training ground, a stepping stone for getting ready to explore deeper into space, like Mars and beyond. But for now, it's also a reminder that the universe still holds plenty of secrets. And sometimes those secrets are hiding right next door, just waiting for us to finally take a peek. One thing is for sure, it isn't just some boring rock floating around Earth. It's got stories to tell. And if this recent discovery is anything to go by, those stories might be wilder than we ever imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope may have just opened a new chapter in lunar exploration. One where it is more than just our celestial neighbor. It's a mysterious, intriguing world of its own, full of surprises that are just waiting to be discovered. A strange structure on the far side of the moon raises new questions. What could it be? Hidden lunar structure baffles scientists. The discovery of a massive structure on the far side is undoubtedly one of the most thrilling developments in recent exploration. This structure isn't just another rock or crater. It's something that has the potential to rewrite what we know. From the first grainy black and white images taken during the Apollo missions to today's high resolution images delivered by JWST, the level of detail has evolved tremendously, giving us a closer look at our lunar neighbor like never before. The big question is, what exactly is this structure? For now, scientists are being cautious with their conclusions. It could be anything from a unique geological formation to the remains of something ancient that we have yet to fully understand. Some researchers are even hypothesizing that this structure may be connected to volcanic activity from billions of years ago. There are parts that suggest ancient lava flows, and perhaps this structure is evidence of such an event something that could tell us a lot about how it evolved over time. On the other hand, there are those who suggest a more exotic explanation. The organized look of the structure is what has everyone intrigued. Unlike typical craters or ridges, this formation seems to have an order to it that makes it stand out. And that's enough to get some people thinking about the possibility of extraterrestrial origins. While this may sound far-fetched, the idea isn't being completely dismissed. After all, it is the closest place where we could potentially find signs of non-human activity. If this structure turns out to be artificial, it could change everything we think we know about our place in the universe. Exploring the far side is no easy task. For one, it's always facing away from Earth, which makes direct communication with spacecraft incredibly challenging. To tackle this issue, space agencies have deployed relay satellites that orbit and relay information back to Earth. China, for example, has successfully used the Kuekiao Relay Satellite to communicate with its Chang'e 4 mission, which landed on the far side in 2019. 
The challenge doesn't end with communication and rough terrain. The far side is also exposed to some extreme temperature variations. During the lunar day, temperatures can rise to over 250 degrees Fahrenheit, while at night they can plummet to minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Any mission to the far side needs to be equipped with technology capable of withstanding these drastic changes. And that's where our modern advancements come into play. Robotic missions are leading the charge in these explorations. With the success of the Chang'e 4 rover, China has proven that autonomous machines can survive and navigate the tough conditions of the far side. The rover has been collecting soil samples, conducting mineral analyses, and sending back valuable data to Earth. This data is crucial in piecing together the geological history of the far side, which remains one of the least understood areas of our celestial neighbor. Similarly, NASA's Artemis program is taking these lessons and expanding on them. The Artemis program aims not only to return humans, but also to create a sustainable presence there. This means setting up base camps, laboratories, and perhaps even mining operations. Robotic vehicles like the Lunar Terrain Vehicle, LTV, are expected to be integral to these efforts. They are designed to operate in extreme environments, equipped with AI to adapt to unforeseen obstacles, and capable of working autonomously for long durations. AI is the unsung hero of these missions. It's what makes real-time decision-making possible. Without AI, it would be nearly impossible to navigate through the dangerous and unpredictable landscape. AI algorithms allow these rovers to analyze the terrain ahead, determine the safest path, and avoid hazards that could end a mission. In the case of Viper, the AI on board is not just for driving, it's also tasked with analyzing data in real time to identify signs of water ice, which could be critical for future lunar colonies. The concept of in situ resource utilization, ISRU, is central to this effort. Lunar regolith, which makes up the surface, is a rich source of materials that could be used to construct buildings, create protective shields, and even produce oxygen. By utilizing the resources available, scientists hope to significantly reduce the cost and logistical challenges of transporting everything from Earth. Imagine building a base using bricks made out of lunar dust. That's what ISRU is aiming for. Advancements in 3D printing technology are making it possible to create complex structures directly on the surface. Instead of hauling tons of construction material from Earth, astronauts could bring specialized 3D printers capable of turning lunar soil into building materials. This approach not only makes lunar habitation more feasible, but also paves the way for similar techniques on other planets, like Mars. Power generation is another crucial aspect of lunar living. It has no atmosphere, meaning solar power is a viable and abundant energy source. Solar panels can be deployed to generate electricity, which can then be used to power habitats, rovers, and other equipment. Nuclear power is also being considered, particularly for areas that don't receive as much sunlight, like the lunar poles. As more missions are planned, having reliable communication and navigation systems becomes increasingly important. NASA's Lunar Navigation and Communications Network is being developed to provide GPS-like services. This network will make it easier for missions, whether manned or robotic, to navigate the surface accurately and safely. Precision in navigation is vital, especially in rugged areas like the South Pole Aitken Basin, where a wrong move could mean disaster. To add to that, Nokia is working on deploying a 4G LTE network, which might sound a bit outlandish, but it makes perfect sense. Astronauts will need to communicate not just with mission control on Earth, but also with each other and with robotic systems. High-speed data transfer is critical for sending back images, videos, and scientific data. Real-time communication is also key for ensuring the safety of astronauts as they move about the surface. Lunar exploration is no longer the domain of a single country. The renewed interest has seen an unprecedented level of international collaboration. China, Russia, the United States, and Europe are all playing a part in exploring and understanding it. These partnerships are crucial as they allow the pooling of resources, knowledge, and technology leading to more ambitious missions. Could this mysterious lunar structure be evidence of ancient extraterrestrial activity? Or is there a more grounded explanation? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for more.